startup costs are very important because if you underestimate, you may find yourself running out of cash and all of a sudden the business would, would die. Um, there are one off costs that you first have to meet cost of incorporation, of doing your business plan, of um, acquiring licenses, of getting other statutory requirements. So those are costs that you have to, you definitely have to have if you're going to take off your business, at least on a legal basis. Then you have to think of startup costs in maybe two ways. Uh, the first is capital expenditure, and then you have operating expenses. Uh, capital expenditure refers to those things that you use over time. So your generators, your computers, phones, furniture, um, and to a certain extent, you may, you may want to say rent, although that is an accounting decision. But definitely, if you purchase property, if you need to purchase property, then definitely that will be part of your uh, capex, as it's called. Then you have to think of operating expenditure, because there are day-to-day -day expenses you have to meet. You have to meet diesel, you have to meet payroll, stationery, um, internet, and so on and so forth. So that is your working capital. Now, it's advisable that you try and have a sufficient amount that can see you through for between 6 to 12 months or definitely until such time as the business can start paying for those expenses. It's advisable to always assume the worst. You pray for the best, but you assume the worst. You think if money doesn't come in for the next 12 months, would I be able to run and sustain this business? If you don't have enough money to do that, we're not saying do not start, but that has to be within your consciousness that your startup capital is not enough. At times you may need to start to encourage more funding. So as an entrepreneur, that must be at the top of your priority list when you look at your to-do for the day. Or for the week or for the month. So, depending on your business, some costs are more important than the other. If you have an online business, for instance, obviously physical premises may not need to be that important. But if you have a business where location is key, then having space on the high street, uh, paying a premium for space in the mall, uh, those are important part of your startup costs. Um, if you are involved in, say, any business that requires um, the use of professionals on a constant basis, then you have to budget for all those things. Again, it all comes down to the entrepreneur knowing his business in and out and being dispassionate. I think at the end of the day, that's the key. What will be required? If the worst comes, if the worst comes to play, how do I respond? Do I have enough financing to overcome this, these things? That is the way an entrepreneur should view startup costs. However, when it comes to the startup costs, he has to understand that his financing is extremely limited. In fact, what we, has been found out is that the more limited your financing is, the more innovative you are, the more you are able to think things on the fly and be able to adjust and then voila, success.